Hello Star Wars Rebels fans, my name is Joel Robinson, and this is the Star Wars Rebels Season Finale Trailer Analysis. So in this video, I will analyze every single little detail of the Star Wars Rebels Season Finale Trailer, the one that premiered on Good Morning America. And I have found 30 easter eggs in the trailer to what will happen in the Rebel season finale. So without further ado, let's get started. Imperial cruisers waiting above the planet of Mustafar. Imperial shuttle overhead with a large Imperial transport on the far left. This is possibly the shuttle our small scale rebels have stolen. Although I doubt it because it does not have the TIE fighter Ezra and Zeb stole earlier in the season attached to it. We see Kanan still bound and it looks like he's meditating. Next there's a crap ton of TIE fighters flying towards the camera. While in the far distance, an Imperial Star Destroyer is ablaze. This makes me think that our small scale rebels will save Kanan, as well as destroying an entire Imperial Star Destroyer. Next, there are a few shots of the Inquisitor interrogating Kanan about his knowledge of a greater rebellion, to which he says he knows nothing, and if he did, he'd rather die than tell him. Of course, this is something that will be put to the test later in the episode, and although I don't think Kanan will die, he will certainly get close. Kanan's eyes open, and he has some type of what I believe to be Force Sight or a Vision. Hera and our Rebels have a meeting, during which Hera admits Kanan is family. Next, we are back to seeing some type of Force Vision or Sight, during which Kanan is just about to kiss Hera before it fades to black. Our Rebels are confronted inside the Star Destroyer by Stormtroopers. Meanwhile, the lighting of the interior suggests that the Star Destroyer is in some kind of lockdown. Tarkin looks out from the bridge of the Star Destroyer, as an Imperial transport is either leaving or coming. I would assume for it to be coming towards Tarkin's ship. In fact, I think this is Darth Vader's transport. Stormtroopers fire while in the interior of what I think is the Star Destroyer. This clip is screaming a new hope to me. In fact, it looks just like the scene where Darth Vader boards the Tantive IV. The ghost is on the offensive as TIE fighters pursue a Corellian Corvette which I would assume to be Fulcrum's ship, due to the similar blue striping on the hull of the ship. Cut to an awesome close-up of Hera flying a TIE fighter. The ghost shoots and explodes another TIE fighter. Going backwards in time to Lothal, Hera asks her group whether they're in or out. While in the background, we see the TIE fighter, Ezra and Zeb stole, and it looks like Sabine has graffitied it. A few more random shots of destruction, as our rebels steal the large Imperial troop transport. Cut to the re-edition of Fulcrum. She's projected as a hologram, and I would assume that she is secretly leading this rescue mission. She'll probably show up at the moment of greatest suspense when they're trying to save Kanan, which is, you know, the climax. In the very far background, outside the window, you can see what I believe to be Visago's ship pursuing three TIE fighters. Now, I don't know why Visago would be involved unless there's a monetary compensation. Next, the large troop transport begins to advance towards the Imperial Star Destroyer. Stormtroopers sprint by, while in the Star Destroyer hangar. In the background, there's an Imperial transport with its hatch down. Ezra is piloting the large troop transport and taking off from Lothal. Chopper is with him. Random battle scenes. The Inquisitor prepares to battle Kanan while in the engine room of the Star Destroyer. We can assume this is what causes the explosion in the earlier scene. In a different part of the ship, Hera and Sabine are running and firing through smoke or steam. Ezra is also in the engine room and ignites his lightsaber. Sabine jumps to the troop transport, which we know are rebels steal. The Inquisitor and Kanan fight. Most likely Kanan is trying to keep the Inquisitor away from Ezra, but the Inquisitor leaps over him. Our stolen tie is doing barrel rolls. A large group of Corellian Corvettes and the Ghost approach the Imperial Star Destroyer, which all I can say is, IT'S A TRAP! Back inside the engine room, the Inquisitor begins to wind up his lightsaber to throw it at Ezra. If you look closely, you can see Kanan knocked out, or dead, on the ground behind the Inquisitor. Hopefully he's not dead. I really, really don't think so, but who knows? Cut back to an earlier scene of Kanan yelling, No! and running towards the Inquisitor. And the preview ends with the words, Who will fall? Well, holy crap. This just got real. Things are going to get real serious. So without any delay, let's get into the theory crafting. So we know from last week's episode that Kanan is being held on Tarkin's Star Destroyer. We now also know that Tarkin is taking him to the Mustafar system, where he will receive his final interrogation and then be killed. So in the midst of this, I believe it's Hera who will decide that it is worth trying to save Kanan. I also think that she will convince Fulcrum <coughs> Ahsoka, <coughs> to aid them in their rescue mission. This could be accomplished by having a similar target. Our rebels could go after Kanan, and simultaneously Fulcrum and the larger rebels are after something else. So the team will gather their supplies, including stealing the large troop transport, and Hera will find out about Ezra and Zeb's secret hidden TIE fighter, which has been painted by Sabine. And I'd also note this is where Ezra and Sabine have been sneaking off to all this time. So firstly, the large troop transport will dock with Tarkin Star Destroyer, and then they will try to rescue Kanan. I believe they will be successful, 
And maybe, just maybe, Hera and Kanan will prove everybody's suspicions about their relationship. In reality, they will get close to displaying their mutual affection. But because this is a kid's show aimed at 6 to 14 year old boys, and love is, well, icky, their moment will probably be interrupted. Continuing on, at some point the Inquisitor will catch up with Kanan, and Ezra will try to intervene. This is where they'll have a giant lightsaber duel. Maybe Kanan, most likely the Inquisitor, but as the trailer says, someone will fall, which is code for somebody gonna get dead. All I know is that if Kanan dies, I will be so mad. Disney, Lucasfilm, don't you do that to me. Just kill the bad guy. Don't kill Kanan. Ahem. <clears throat> what about Darth Vader? Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you, Inner Fanboy. So in this final episode, it's also been revealed that Darth Vader will return. So I believe that after everything bad happens to Tarkin and the Rebels are successful, that Darth Vader will return to give a punishment to Tarkin and or possibly leave us with some mysterious message about everything being part of a larger plan. Yada yada yada, you get the point. This will be the cliffhanger to the next season. Let me know what you think down in the comments. What do you think will happen in the Rebel season finale? Did I nail it? Am I missing something? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and may the force be with you always.